students today we are going to see about dynamics dynamics is defined as moving bodies under the action of forces say once again what is dynamics yes you can say dynamics means moving bodies under the action of forces various scientists say about dynamics three scientists now we are going to see they are aristotle's idea galileo and then sir isaac newton according to aristotle dynamics is classified into two types natural motion and violent motion natural motion is otherwise known as force independent and violent motion is known as force dependent according to galileo dynamics he proposed some concepts of force motion and inertia but according to isaac newton he proposed three newton's laws that is newton's law first law newton's second law and newton's third law again now go, we are going to see about aristotle's ideas what is natural motion a moving object naturally comes to rest without any external influence of force is known as natural motion again once again i repeat it listen a moving object naturally comes to rest without any external influence of force is known as natural motion violent motion is a force needed to make the bodies move from their natural state and behave in contrary to their own natural state it is known as violent motion now what are the two types of motion according to aristotle that are two types are natural motion and violent motion natural motion definition as well as violent motion also now we saw that one now i am going to say about galileo's ideas galileo proposed the concepts of force motion and inertia of bodies in this the new term inertia we are going to see this one when a force is applied on bodies they resist any change in their state of rest or state of motion is known as inertia now we are going to see some of the pictures of inertia see that pictures see the pictures now i am explaining about the picture if while we are traveling in a bus or in a car when a sudden brake is applied the upper part of your body leans in the forward direction listen once again if you are traveling in a bus or car when a sudden brake is applied the upper part of your body leans in forward direction similarly when the vehicle is suddenly move forward from rest you lean backward this is due to inertia once again i repeat it listen properly while you are traveling in a bus or in a car when a sudden brake is applied the upper part of your body leans in the forward direction similarly when the vehicle is suddenly move forward from rest you lean backward this is due to inertia now i am going to do one activity see this also take a glass tumbler first listen take a glass tumbler place a small cardboard on it place a small cardboard on it and keep a coin at the center of the cardboard so listen first take a glass tumbler place one cardboard on it now keep a coin at the center of the cardboard flick the cardboard quickly so listen flick the cardboard quickly now you can observe the cardboard falls off the ground and the coin falls in the glass tumbler and the coin falls in the glass tumbler here inertia of the coin keep it in the state of rest when the cardboard moves again i will repeat the reason listen properly 
the cardboard falls off the ground the coin falls into the glass tumbler here inertia of the coin keeps it in the state of rest when the cardboard moves when the cardboard has moved the coin falls into the tumbler due to gravity this activity happens due to inertia of rest students now i think you are all understand clearly about the uh, inertia and the activity also uh, once again you also try at home okay now we are going to see about the types of inertia see how it is classified inertia is classified into three types the three types are inertia of rest inertia of motion and inertia of direction what are the three types of inertia inertia is classified into inertia of rest inertia of motion and inertia of direction now let us going to see the definition of inertia of rest the resistance of a body to change its state of rest listen this is the main thing the resistance of a body to change its state of rest is called inertia of rest and i am also uh, going to give a example for inertia of rest when we shake vigorously when we shake vigorously the branches of tree some of the leaves and fruits are detached and they fall down this is the example for inertia of rest the next one is inertia of motion the resistance of a body to change its state of motion is called inertia of motion example for inertia of motion is an athlete runs some distance before jumping an athlete runs some distance before jumping this will help him jump longer and higher this is the example for inertia of motion and the third one is inertia of direction definition for this one is the resistance of a body to change its direction of motion is called inertia of direction again i repeat that one the resistance of a body to change its direction of motion is called inertia of direction the example for that one is when you make a sharp turn while driving a car you tend to lean sideways so this is the example for inertia of direction students i think all of you are understand about dynamics and the classification of dynamics based on aristotle galileo and also isaac newton and the ba based on that one types of inertia and example that also we studied i think so i make give uh, i ask you to do the same activity at home also and uh, once again i recall that one according to aristotle how dynamics is classified natural motion and violent motion galileo proposed some of the ideas of dynamics that is he proposed the concepts of force motion and inertia in this we are going to see the new term that is given in our lesson inertia what is inertia when a force is applied on bodies they resist any change in their state of rest or state of motion is known as inertia and also we are seeing the types of inertia and example of inertia and the activity of inertia i hope you are all understand very well i think thank you